Hey everybody, it's Sam with Easy Breezy again. Back today with a probably a short video. Um, we're going to be taking a pump off one pressure washer and putting it on another, and I'm gonna kind of walk through and show you how to do it. Uh, we'll take a look. One is a Troy built, the other is a Craftsman. They both run the same style pump. They both mount up together. Um, one is a Honda. The Troy built has a Briggs that actually blew the timing gear. Um, so we're not gonna fix that. It's not just not worth it. Um, so what we're like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pump off the Troy built, put it on the Craftsman. Um, pumps are pretty expensive for these, so just trying to save some money and we'll get her back going. I'll show you what they are. So there's the Troy built and the Craftsman right there. As you see, the Troy built motor is pretty well torn apart. This was actually my brother-in-law's machine and he has been running it quite a few years until the timing gear mo uh, blew on it. And uh, there's just, like I said, no point in fixing it, so he just donated it to us. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, the pump off that, put it on this Craftsman. Uh, the problem with this Craftsman here, uh, the, the pump does work, but it does not release. So what that means is if you be pulling the trigger, you let go of it, the motor has, is not able to deal with the strain of the pump, wanting to pump, but with the handle off. So it overloads it and shuts the motor off. So and what that means is the release valve in the pump is shot. So we're gonna get that changed and uh, get it all working. So the easiest way pretty much to get these pumps off, there's actually, I'll show you the bolts on it. This is probably a little easier to show you on. So you got this one here, one down there, and one over here. They are H6 Allen heads with a, I don't know if you can see it there, there's a uh, half inch nut on top. What that's gonna do is that's gonna release the pump and motor. Uh, if you do have a second hand, it probably does help a little bit uh, for someone to hold the motor while you either loosen it or tighten it up. Okay, we're gonna start getting these off. I just got a small impact here, 3 8 drive with an extension. Okay, it's one bolt down. There's two. Now you can do this on a bench. We just simplified it a little bit and just did it on the floor. Most people do not have a bench at home. So I just rather show you how to do it on the ground. Just like that. The pump's just gonna kind of slide off the chassis. This motor will come off, just like that. Take your pump out. There. So that takes the pump off. That's what it looks like there. I'll get you guys kind of a closer shot. All right, so I got my dad helping me with this one because like I said, this is the good motor here. Pop this one up here.
Impact's not getting it. You can always crack the top loose. That breaks it loose. That way you can get the nut out. All right, we'll get this one here. Oops, I got the bolt, there we go. All right, we'll get that out there. Now we'll just set it up. All right, the next part is to actually, you can actually set it on by it sitting like this. It's probably the easiest way to do it one person. Let me get set up and I'll show you. All right, so we'll get the pump on here now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that under there. Now it is a keyed shaft. So what you want to do I'll kind of show you here. You want to turn the motor over slowly until you find that key. There it is, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You can see that little groove up there. There you go. Then we're just gonna line that up inside the pump. So one thing that I found does help is putting the pump under there. Try to turn the crank just a little bit to get her the, most of the way lined up. And it can be kind of tricky to get this on here. All right, we got that pump on there. We're gonna start putting the bolts in. up a little bit so what we're gonna have to do is bring her out a little bit there we go sometimes it will bite you a little bit just kind of keep working it you get it on there installed. I'll come back when I got water hooked up to it and got her running. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Let's get this Ranger washed. You'll actually see that in an upcoming video. Let's get her done.
guys, there you have it. We got the Craftsman pressure washer back going again with that Honda. I think I still need to go through the carb on her, but it's our personal one for the shop here. And you know what? It works. It'll clean itself out. <laughs> so, alrighty. If you guys like it, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, tell everybody about it. Again, don't get in trouble, even though it's not always fun. Thank you.